Hello everyone, it's Monday, July 21st, 2014. Came across this article from MS News, and although I don't really trust this website to give me much truth, I did find this photograph very interesting. Um, the title of the article is All Walks of Life Among Malaysia Plane Passengers. And first let me say that all walks of life are among every plane crash tragedy. So every plane crash, every plane that's shot down, every person that dies in this horrific way is a tragedy. Not just this one. But this photograph caught my attention because of the big old chemtrail in the background. And it looks like this chemtrail is in the shape of a cross. I could be wrong. It could just be an X, tic-tac-toe across the sky. But Gosh, these chemtrails are just in our face every single day. And I was looking at the person who, the credit of the person that took the photograph, AP Photo Phil Nishis, and it says in, underneath the photograph, a flag flies half-staff at Benenhof, the seat of the Dutch government in The Hague, Netherlands, Friday, July 18th, 2014. Flags are flying half-staff across the Netherlands as the country mourns at least 189 of its citizens killed when a Malaysia Airlines passenger jet was shot down in eastern Ukraine. And I just wonder if the, the AP photograph photographer was purposely trying to capture this chemtrail in the background to perhaps alert people or wake people up to what's happening in our skies. I remember noticing our skies around about three years ago. I started seeing these lines and I thought, what the heck is that? I had never seen that before as a child. The clouds always looked like clouds. And, and then I started hearing slang phrases like chemtrails and... But then I got into another website by Clifford Carnicom, who has done a whole bunch of research on these trails and poison lines in the sky. And I believe I heard from him to do a search, an internet search on aerosol particle scattering. And that brought up a whole lot of, a whole lot more information than just the words chemtrails. Aerosol particle scattering or cloud seeding is another way to research what's happening in the, in our skies. But this article is, is, is an in memory of article. It, it talks about the Boeing 777 was carrying 298 people when it was shot down over eastern Ukraine on Thursday in eastern Ukraine, sending shockwaves around the world from Malaysia to the Netherlands. Relatives and friends and colleagues paid tribute to victims even before the airline released their names as it scrambled to contact the next of kin of the victims. The Malaysia Airlines official said 189 of the passengers were Dutch, there were also 29 Malaysians, 27 Australians, 12 Indonesians, 9 from the United Kingdom, 4 each from Germany and Belgium, 3 from the Philippines, 1 each from Canada and New Zealand, and 4 passengers whose nationalities have yet to be confirmed, said Heeb Goiter, the airline's regional vice president for Europe, told reporters at Amsterdam's Schiphol Airport. And it goes on to describe other personal stories from families of the victims, which is it's tragic. It's, it's terribly sad. There's so much suffering and sadness in this world. I get very down about what I see and, and the suffering that continues to go on on this earth. But I did find this photograph at the top of the page very, very interesting. And I'm just wondering if the photographer was trying to tell us something. Um, share this information as you feel free to. Um, I hope everyone has a great day.